My points, we start with smart goals, know the exam well, and then I divide this in two sections, section one and section two. Section one, insights and tips for key for schools, which is A2, and the other part, which is B1 preliminary for schools. Before we go ahead with the rest, I just want to know who prepares um, students for A2 for schools and B1 for schools, for Cambridge exams? A2? A2? A2 and B1. A2, B1, B2, C1. That's really great, magnificent. Okay, then in the other section, because here we will focus, we will intensively focus on this and this, and also this. Um, section two, insights and tips for first for schools and C1 advance. Then, um, at the end of this session, for sure, uh, we will view and share some resources from um, Cambridge website and uh, where we can find materials, enough materials to support our students. So let's get started. What can you see here? Okay. Yeah, but it's long, huh? it yeah, seems long. Okay, that's the finish line at the end. And this is a journey. This is a journey to prepare our students to get um, Cambridge qualifications. So, what do you think these are? Steps. 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 Levels. 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 Stages. Stages. Milestones. Milestones. So, to make this road comfortable, we need to create milestones. And that happen with the smart, yeah, city smart goals. Uh, because it's long journey. Task before test. So they need to scan. Oh okay, heck, yeah, uh, scan, yeah, scan and skim. Both of them quick reading. Before, yeah, uh, but scan and they read quickly. You're looking for something particular. But skimming, uh, they need to read quickly to get the general idea, idea, general idea and the meaning yeah. and meaning. So, can't you see that in listening and reading we have the same question, the same text? Ask your students to read and answer, for example, one option A, B, C. The second time, let them read the same text for some WH questions. So, uh, reading the first time for the gist, the second time for details. details. It's the same in listening. listening. Sometimes we have the same audio file. Now, play this audio file and find the correct option A, B, or C about the topic, the title. This is listening for? Just. Yeah, just. And now listen again. Okay, now mm -hmm. listen. Anyway, it's the same audio file. Yeah, we listen again, but this time with intensity to get listening for the details. details. Exactly what happened here. Um, teachers, B one teachers, please. Who, um, who has experienced this, this part? Uh, I'm talking about the last question, question number five. It's. Different question. Uh, actually, there are five questions, only five questions. This is the sequence of the paper exam. Um, you have to read, um, to read the statement and to find, yeah, an option A, B, or C. This one, the last one, is open ending. It means that you need to read the whole task before test. So they need to scan. Oh heck, yeah, uh, scan, yeah, scan and skim. Both of them quick reading before, yeah. Uh, but scan and they read quickly, looking for something particular. But skimming, uh, they need to read quickly to get the general idea, 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 general idea and the meaning yeah. and meaning. So, can't you see that in listening and reading we have the same question, the same text? Ask your students to read and answer. For example, one option A, B, C. The second time, let them read the same text for some WH questions. So, uh, reading the first time for the gist, the second time for? Details. Details. It's the same in listening. listening. Sometimes we have the same audio file. Now, play this audio file and find the correct option, A, B, or C, about the topic, the title. This is listening for? Gist. Yeah, gist. And now, listen again. Okay, now, listen. It's the same audio file, yeah, we listen again, but this time with intensity to get listening for the details. details. Exactly what happened here. Um, teachers, B1 teachers, please. Who, um, who has experienced this, this part? 
Uh, I'm talking about the last question, question number five. It's a different question. Uh, actually, there are five questions, only five questions. This is the sequence of the paper exam. Um, you have to read, um, to read a statement and to find yeah, an option, A, B, or C. This one, the last one, is open-ending. It means that you need to read the whole smart goals. It's a good start. So, before we start that long journey, we need to be what? Specific. Specific. Yeah. yeah, we need to specify what do I want my students to achieve this year term or class. Yeah. Then, measurable. Okay. Something, yeah, it's connected with the assessment, the progress. We need to check the progress of our students. Um, we do the map test switching, for example, if they move from one stage to the other. And after that, to make this goal actionable, achievable. Is, it, is this a little bit appropriate for my students? Um, teachers, you are preparing many students in, in one classroom. But I'm pretty sure I'm quite to be um, sure that is this level is appropriate or we can spend that for the time being. And then we need to be realistic. Yeah, we need to see the end scene. We need to anticipate. Uh, it means that yeah, we need to anticipate any kind of hurdles and obstacles. Okay, we, we don't take it easy. Then finally, and the most important time. Time bound. Time bound is that finish line. Um, what is the time bound here for Cambridge qualifications? The time, which time? Uh, that, that's before the timeline. Uh, before the deadline. The exam. Okay. The time that they do that exam. So I have another question here for you. What do teachers needs to know uh, need to know about the exam? Teachers. You know, all these my students keep asking me, teacher, they're all correct. Teacher, they're all close. It's, close. it's, it's Cambridge, Cambridge qualifications and exams in depth. So, uh, the correct answer is A, that's right. But can't you see something here? Website, keyword here, mission. Yeah, website. So maybe our students, oh, website, I can see website. Yeah. Just go immediately to the keywords. Keywords. And what about the other one, office? Oh, that's the office mentioned over there. But the correct answer no keywords at all. Pay for tickets online, it means through the web website. So I think that we need to lead our uh, students. Before they decide the answer, they need to do what? To infer the meaning, to interpret the meaning from, to understand, not just matching the words. Um, uh, you've said that we have two skills in common, reading and listening, and the assessment here is, <coughs> test the candidates understand your various kinds of short texts. This is another example, which is uh, part five of the A2 key for schools. Can some teachers help me? What is it? What is it about? It's an email. Uh, do, I, do I have to write an email? Open course. Yeah, to fill in the gaps. Uh, okay, uh, to fill the gaps, do you have any options here? No. It's open close. And when it comes to open close question, um, Cambridge here testing students in a particular thing. What is it? Grammatical. Grammatical structure, the structure. So what we need here, um, by the way, the six gas, this is given example. What we need, um, sometimes we need just a preposition or pronoun, yeah, pronoun sometimes a comparison down, sometimes a uh, determinant. It's something to connect the speech. And my students, uh, I'm talking about A2 students, they um, effortlessly Mention the correct answer. It comes. It it flows. For example, um, for example, yeah, I'm thinking of oh, oh, oh is the, the answer. That's just for example. So I ask them not to close your mouth, not to activate yourself. Just let it go, and you'll get the correct answer by habit. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Uh, yeah, but if, <laughs> it sounds it sounds fine. But if they really start thinking intensively in this, they um, they might happen, or they might have some uh, issues. The paper, uh, the A two paper, with preliminary paper. Is that with you? So here just some hints. They'll be given any say, essay, topic, title, etc. They need to write, for example, 140. We mentioned this, the time, 40 minutes and 45 minutes. We will talk about this and we'll find this in details in the teacher. Similarity and differences. differences. And please, teachers, let our students, when it comes to be to speak about two, let's not let them not to forget themselves and start to do to do what this describing. Yeah. No description. That's the challenge. They try to compare, but then they find themselves. I tell you why, my teacher. My, okay, because if you have students passed B one and moved to B two, uh, that uh, uh, that that is a habit now. So when they see a third today. Start they start, they start, they forget, start describing it. Yeah. Okay.